summer activities are in full swing and it is never too late to make sure you are having fun outside safely. Joining us in studio to talk about summer safety is Captain Gary Farmer from Montgomery Fire and Rescue. And there are several areas when it comes to talking about summer safety. One of those is water safety. That includes the pool, beach, Absolutely. lakes and rivers. Absolutely. It's summertime. Everybody's traveling right now. They're going to the beach, going to the swimming pools, going to the river. You need to make sure we're safe. Uh, the CDC states that the leading cause of accidental death in children is drowning. So we need to hear that as parents and as guardians, and we need to make sure we actually watch our kids and uh, make sure that they are always uh, in our line of sight and we don't leave. Most parents will leave their kids there, go make a sandwich, come back, and something very unfortunate has happened. So it takes all of just one single inch of water to have a child drown. And um, make sure that you never leave them alone. And if they're in the river, if they're at the ocean, we want to make sure uh, that they're actually uh, wearing a life jacket. It's one that's uh, approved by the United States Coast Guard. And uh, just never leave them alone. And just always have your eye on them. We know how kids can be. Make sure that life jacket is Coast Guard approved, but kids can move so quickly, Absolutely. so quickly. And you may tell them, hey, stay right there. But we all know children, mm -hmm. they don't like to listen sometimes. Absolutely. They want to go have mm -hmm. that fun. And you mentioned the life jackets mm -hmm. for the children, but mm -hmm. even for adults, when you're out boating on mm -hmm. the water, even if you can swim, if something happens, if you were in an accident, mm -hmm. you need that life jacket on. Absolutely. Not just for children, like you said, adults as well. We need to make sure we know the laws. We know. Uh, uh, we need to have our life jackets on when we're out there on the boats. And um, like I said, it's, if you want to just make sure you're safe, make sure you swim in the areas that, where there's a lifeguard. Uh, lifeguards are trained in CPR. And also uh, for the children and also adults, if you're not sure how to swim, invest in swimming lessons. Exactly. There is no substitute for teaching them how to swim and keeping a watchful eye. And just because you put mm. this life jacket on does not mean that, hey, I can take my eye off them. You still need to keep a close, close eye on them and you need to teach them how to swim mm -hmm. in safety and numbers. You mentioned swimming near a lifeguard, mm -hmm. swim in numbers. Make sure you take somebody out there with you. Skin Absolutely. safety, let's also talk about that. We need to protect our skin as well. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of people will be outside like at the pool, at the beach. Uh, we need to make sure we protect, uh, protect our skin. It's the largest organ in our body. Uh, most skin cancers uh, are caused by too much exposure to UV light. So whenever we uh, are outside, we need to make sure we have sunscreen on. Uh, make sure the sunscreen says uh, broad spectrum on it, it's FPF. Um, 15 or higher. The UV rays are strongest uh, between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. And these UV rays can actually get to you uh, even on a cloudy day. Um, they can actually reflect off of the sand, off the cement, uh, things like that. So we need to make sure we stay covered, uh, make sure we have uh, shade. Uh, we sit in our shade uh, up under an umbrella, up under a tree, have the proper clothing on, and also have a hat. So like somebody like myself, I have more uh, skin exposure <laughs> up top. We need to make sure we have hats on. A ball cap will not cover your ears, so have a, a large brim hat on. And also sunglasses, make sure they wrap around. And once again, just make sure we have the sunscreen on. Make sure we follow the recommendations on the back of the can. Every two hours is what the, uh, the can actually recommends. But it may be more than that. If you're in and out of water, you just need to follow the recommendation, recommendations on the back of the can. And drink plenty of water because Absolutely. you are busy, you are, you are swimming, you are active out there, you're sweating mm. a lot because it's hot outside. You need to make sure you're replenishing those fluids. Absolutely. Uh, hydration is key. We, if we got events uh, this weekend, there's going to be events uh, throughout the summer here in the city. So we need to make sure if we're participating, we hydrate before the event, during the event, and also after the event. Also, we want to make sure that we replenish those electrolytes. So make sure you get a uh, sports drink that's low in sugar and uh, you can help replenish your electrolytes that way. And finally, a lot of folks like to grill out this time of Absolutely. year. There are burn, there are fire hazards that a come with that. Absolutely. The National Fire Protection Agency says that July is the peak month for grill fires. And uh, last year, over 10,000 house fires were caused by grills. And uh, over 19,000 ER visits uh, last year were actually due to injuries uh, while grilling. So we need to make sure when we're, we are grilling, that we actually have the grill on a flat surface. Make sure that the grill is not up under an awning, up under a tree, something like that. Make sure it's well away from a, the deck, um, not close to the house. We need to make sure we have at least a three to four foot barrier uh, around that grill. We need to make sure there's no children playing as well. So we need to make sure we have all that uh, covered and that also fire extinguisher. Have a fire extinguisher nearby, some type of extinguishing agent close by that we can actually put out the, a fire if it were to flame up on and us. Never throw any hot coals or any hot food or grease, anything like that in a trash can because it can 
Absolutely. Catch fire. If you use charcoal, make sure you wait till it cools down and actually put it in a metal container. Smart. Great advice. We appreciate it. Thank you so much You're for welcome. joining us as always.